A huge win for President Trump as a judge orders the Dominion voting machines in Georgia to be impounded. In this video, we're going to take a look at the roller coaster of rulings coming from one Georgia judge, how his latest ruling is a massive win for the deplorables, and how feckless establishment Republicans in Georgia have actually tried but failed to protect Dominion voting systems from the very citizens they claim to represent. You are not going to want to miss this. Welcome everyone, Dr. Steve here with you, ready to bring you our latest episode celebrating the inevitable collapse of left-wing globalism and the unstoppable rise of a new conservative age. So if you haven't already done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. We'd love to have you as a regular part of this channel where each and every day we focus on optimism and encouragement in the midst of all the defeatist fake news nonsense spewed out by the mainstream media. Before we get into things here, let's give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video. And that's the makers of this awesome motion detector, ultra bright solar Nightlight. You can install it anywhere because it's wireless and you never need to worry about buying batteries because it's solar powered with a high powered battery storage pack. It's equipped with motion detectors and it becomes an entertainment light for the patio and the barbecue just with the simple click of a button. And it's motion detectors offer effective deterrence against burglars. And best of all, you're not going to have to spend a fortune for any of it. If you click on that link below right now, you'll get 52% off as well as free shipping. So what could be better? Do not wait. Click on that link below or visit nightsolarlight.com and bring its light to the dark spaces in your home today. All right, gang, let's dive right in here. Huge news coming out of Georgia in another development and the roller coaster of events there. Now, you may have heard about this judge, Judge Timothy C. Batten Sr. Just the other day, he ordered a seizure of Dominion voting machines throughout the state of Georgia to stop the attempt by Georgia officials to erase the voting data from the November 3rd presidential election. Now, the excuse that these officials are making is that they're preparing these machines. Yes, they're preparing Dominion voting systems and Smartmatic software for yet another election, the early January Senate runoff. The problem, of course, is that such an erasure would indeed delete all the evidence of what happened on November 3rd. Now, Lynn Wood, the firebrand attorney and Georgia resident, he filed an injunction to seize the Dominion voting machines in an effort to stop their erasure. And this judge, Timothy Batten, agreed. He issued a restraining order that I, uh, I will quote here. Defendants, that is Dominion voting systems, are hereby enjoined and restrained from altering, destroying, or erasing, or allowing the alteration, destruction, or erasure of any software data on any Dominion voting machine in Cobb, Gwinnett, and Cherokee counties. Defendants are ordered to promptly produce to plaintiffs a copy of the contract between the state and Dominion. Now, we're going to talk about that contract in a moment. But first, again, I promised you a bit of a roller coaster here. Literally hours after that injunction, this same judge turned around and said, never mind, carry on. He lifted the injunction. It was absolutely inexplicable. I was doing a Facebook Live last night with our Insiders members. Again, if you don't know, you can have direct influence into helping me put together these videos if you join our exclusive Insiders Club, where I give you a heads up, an exclusive first look at the videos that I plan for the week to get your input. We also have a weekly live Q&A for our members, so make sure to click on that link below, sign up, and get your first two weeks absolutely free. But when I was on that live stream last night, the news had just broken out that the judge reversed himself and he was allowing the machine's data to be deleted. So Lynn Wood came out on fire and he basically said that if these supposedly conservative judges and Republican legislatures refuse to stand up and do the right thing here, it is, it's time to start a third party. We are officially done with the GOP. And again, I reiterate here, we've been saying this a lot over the last few weeks. I couldn't agree more with this. This is no longer about President Trump. This is not even about voting integrity at this point. This is about the future of the GOP. Are they going to side with us, the deplorables, or are they going to side with the Democrats? This is a, this is a real Joshua moment here. Choose this day whom you will serve. Are you going to serve the deplorables who voted for you and put you in positions of authority? Or are you going to serve the Democrats 
so that you get glowing coverage through the lenses of the Democrat-run Marxist media. Well, something seems to have worked because the same judge once again <laughs> reversed himself and has ordered the seizure of voting machines to be examined by Lynn Wood's legal team. So we're back in business in Georgia thanks to this judge reversing himself yet again. Frankly, I don't care how many times he reverses himself as long as he always ends up on the side of voting integrity. It would be the epitome of absurdity to deny citizens the right to inspect the voting machines and software that have been entrusted to carry out a fair and legal election. But you won't believe who was arguing precisely for that denial. Now, again, I promised you a roller coaster here, right? The Republican Attorney General and the Republican Secretary of State of Georgia argued precisely that citizens of Georgia should not be allowed to scrutinize and verify the machines and software entrusted for a fair and accurate election. I kid you not. Now, I am indebted to the Australian news site simply called News.com Australia for their in-depth reporting on this issue. Remember, our media... Our mainstream Marxist media has completely blacked out any reporting on what's going on in these swing states in terms of the legal and legislative maneuvers the Trump team and other concerned MAGA deplorables are carrying out. You're not going to find out a hint of what's going on if you rely solely on the mainstream media. So we are very reliant on international news, particularly British and Australian news sources, who are digging down and giving us deep dives into what's really going on here. So a tip of the hat to News.com Australia. They are wonderful. They're reporting that in response to Lynn Wood's filing of an injunction to seize machines in Georgia, you're not going to believe this argument used by the Attorney General and Secretary of State of uh, Georgia. Again, both Republicans. They tried to stop Lynn Wood because, and I'm going to quote from the judge's ruling, okay, quote, they argued that allowing such forensic inspections would pose substantial security and proprietary trade secret risks to the defendants. I'll read that again just to make sure we're all clear on this. Quote, they argued that allowing such forensic inspections would pose substantial security and proprietary trade secret risks to the defendants. Do you realize what that means? It's going to shock you. But first, make sure to download your free gift. Uh, we have just for you by clicking on that link below. It's called our Fake News Antidote. It's a compilation of about 20 sites that I go to for my news each and every day. All conservative, all celebrating Trump and nationalist populism. Like I said, we need these news resources now more than ever since the blackout has come with the mainstream media. And you can get that with your Fake News Antidote. Download it completely free at the link below in the pinned comment section. You'll have a ready-to-go uh, list of sites that you'll definitely enjoy and will inspire you throughout this whole crazy process. It's yours absolutely free by clicking on the link below. It is my gift to you. All right, so what does this claim mean, this claim by Georgia officials that seizing Dominion software would pose substantial security and proprietary trade secret risks to their defendants? It's very simple. You, the citizens of Georgia, that we Republican officials claim to represent, you are not allowed to inspect or have access to the voting systems and software that we, your officials, decided to use in this election because it could compromise their proprietary software. It could make public their patented software and trade secrets. So sorry, access denied. You have no right, you, the citizens of Georgia, have no right to inspect the technological integrity of a presidential election. We, the officials of Georgia, have sole access to such inspection, and you need to accept what we tell you. Gang, these are effing Republicans! These are Republicans saying that this is precisely why we voted for Trump! We're sick and tired of establishment bougie Republicans who rule in a duopoly with Democrats. Again, you've got to let this hit you because it's precisely why the MAGA movement exists and it won't die. The judge in this ruling cited the argument used by, again, I cannot emphasize enough, a Republican government in Georgia who actually argued that their vendor's proprietary software, the proprietary software used by Dominion voting systems to conduct an election, cannot be intruded on by the very citizens participating in that election.
Remember, Lynn Wood, the attorney who filed this injunction, he's a Georgia citizen. This case actually has nothing to do with the Trump legal team. This is a suit brought about by a citizen of Georgia, and the Republican-led government in Georgia sided with Dominion voting systems against their own citizens. I mean, you've got to get that. This is an establishment Republican party that forms the right side of a globalist oligarchical duopoly, and they govern for their own benefit, and they sure as hell don't govern for the benefit of the citizens they claim to represent. In fact, when it comes down to it, they don't care about you. They don't give a rip about you. You're an annoyance. Go away. Go about your lives. Stop asking questions. And stop insisting on things that we do that would upset the apple cart. And if that doesn't upset you enough, <laughs> you ready for this? Dominion Systems isn't even an American company. It's Canadian. Dominion Systems is technically a foreign company, which means that these Georgia Republicans are actually fighting back against their very own citizens by protecting the intellectual property of a foreign entity. So God bless this judge. Again, I know he's been a bit weebly wobbly, but in the end, he appears to have done the right thing in ordering that these voting machines be seized. What's going on in Georgia again, I think is beyond preposterous. We, the city citizens, obviously want to know who's running the voting systems for our elections. And the idea that our officials would protect the people running the voting systems rather than the citizens, the voters themselves, is an outrage beyond words. So we'll be keeping a very close eye on how things develop in Georgia. But it looks like the establishment Republicans there are about to experience a long overdue day of reckoning with the new heart and soul of the Republican Party we, the deplorables. Now, before you go, make sure to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And you will definitely want to check out my latest video on why a Pennsylvania judge believes that the presidential election in her state was indeed unconstitutional and should be overturned. You're not going to want to miss this. So make sure to click on the link, and I will see you over there. God bless.